All right, guys, we're going to get going here. Um, I'm excited to get to show you guys some of the tools from 21 Online. So um, as we go through this, kind of just so you guys know what, what the plan is with this, is I'm just going to take you through and, and give you kind of a, I always like to think of it as a 30,000 foot overview of what it's going to look like in terms of the, um, the uh, tools and things that are available on 20 on, 21 online. Sorry for a minute there, I could still hear music in the background. I was like, what the heck? But um, so that's the idea of today. So um, feel free to, I, I've left it to where you guys can mute and unmute yourself. So feel free to ask any questions along the way. And ultimately, like I say, my, my plan is what I'm gonna do is just go through and talk about giving you an overview of what it looks like, what tools are available to you your very best thing that you're going to be able to do or that you're going to do on this is to jump in and just kind of play around with it and you're not going to break anything and i just want to get you guys familiar with what's there what's available and then from there you can jump in and mess around and and get used to the tools and things that are available for you on 21 online so all right i'm going to get my screen share going here so as i do that and we'll do some of this. I'm going to mute you, Joanna, so that there's no background noise. So um, first thing I wanted to show you guys, so let me get this one pulled up here, is this is the, uh, the first time you log in. So some of you I know have probably never been into 21 Online. So I want you to be able to see what that looks like here. And when you first get into it, what's going to happen is it'll take you in here and it's going to have you get started now. And as you click on this get started now, then you can see it's got a bunch of different things that it'll walk you through as far as specialization, some objectives, some goals, uh, action paths, links, yeah, those types of things. All right, I'm going to actually just get everyone muted here and then I will allow it to where you can unmute yourself, but just to keep the background noise down. So uh, what we're going to do then is just we're going to go through and talk about it. So this first time that you go through this, what you're going to do is you'll go through and just answer all of the questions that it's asking you along the way here, which is which what that will allow for you to do is to get it set up to be specialized and working basically just for how you want 21 online to work for you. All right, so once you have gone through and done all of that, let me see, somebody's got a question in the chat here. Oh yeah, thanks you, Luciana. Yeah, if you guys will all just put in the chat box a first and last name so that I have a record of who attended the class, I'd appreciate it. All right, so once you first uh, log in to 21 online, it's gonna land you here. Now, the way that it's going to look when you first log in is gonna be different for every one of you guys. And what I mean by that, and not that much different, but there's gonna be some differences in what you're gonna see. And, and the reason for that is, is it is gonna be based upon what you had put in to, as you went through and, and answered those questions the very first time you've logged in. Now, the idea though then is it lands you on this dashboard. And once you're on this dashboard, then what's going to happen is it, it gives you basically the tools and things that are available based on what, how the, you answered the questions. So that very first time you go through and set this up, it's essentially creating your dashboard to work towards what you're wanting to accomplish. So let me just kind of show you a few of the things on here. So based upon the information that I had gone through and filled out, which quite honestly, I don't even remember what I put on any of those, but you can see it's got a, a thing here about virtual open houses. It's got another one about review your PCC image, which is the preferred client club image. Uh, it's got a just sold, which I didn't ever sell this property. So I'm not sure why that's showing up for me there. Uh, build client loyalty and then a build client loyalty on this uh, condo here as well. So the idea of this is you've got these action paths. So I'm just going to click on this one so you can kind of see what these action paths look like. But the idea of it would be, so this was a condo that I helped a friend of mine purchase that uh, he bought to as a rental property. 
So if I click on this start action path, you'll see it's going to load up for me and give me a checklist of some things to do. So in terms of building client loyalty, this is saying, okay, now that I've closed on that deal with this friend of mine, you should get them set up in the preferred client club, which we'll talk more about in a little bit. Uh, get them into business builder. Make sure that the real satisfied quality service survey was done. I'm not even sure what this SNAP 21 is. This must be something new. Um, but some Hallmark promotions, uh, resort vacation certificates, which we'll talk about in a little bit as well. So it just gives you some checklist things, and then you can click on here to go through and get those set up. It also has here this action path for a just sold of saying, you know, send out a just sold email, do some just sold postcards, so closing experience kit. So you can see there's a lot of cool things that, that are, are showing up in this. And the idea of it is all designed around being able to help you build some client loyalty and get some of those things set up with your clients. So I'm going to go back up here to the top, go back to the dashboard. So from the dashboard, where you're going to spend most of your time in on this is going to be in the, uh, I lost the term of it, but you're going to click over here under these three lines where it shows menu. So once I click on that from here, this is all the menu of things that are available for you on 21 online. So marketing a listing. So if you are wanting to do something in terms of marketing a listing, you're just going to click on that. If you're wanting information about promoting yourself, you're going to click here. Working with clients, uh, business planning. Most of your time, though, is going to be spent down here under this productivity hub. Now, I know we've got a number of agents on here who have been agents with uh, Century 21 for a long time. And you guys had seen the, the old way that 21 Online used to look like. And a lot of the, probably the biggest feedback that I've gotten from people who have, who have been around 20, uh, Century 21 and 21 Online is I like the way it was before things were easier to find. Well, the good news is if you, again, just click on these three lines up here, you go to Productivity Hub and you click on that, essentially it brings you back to what the old way looked like, it's, meaning it puts everything in alphabetical order, all of the tools and things. So again, just so to make sure you guys know how to get there, click on these three lines, you go down here to Productivity Hub. Once you click on that, it's gonna land you here on all the tools that are available for you to use in 21 Online. So what my plan is today is I'm just gonna walk you through what a lot of these ones look like. Now, because I'm a, an administrator at the company for 21 Online, I'm gonna have access to some of the tools and things that you guys won't have. So uh, we aren't gonna talk about every single thing on here because some of those don't even really apply to you and you'll probably really would never use them anyway. So ultimately where I'm gonna start first then is just to show you guys this award rankings section. So again, the idea of what I want to accomplish today is I'm not going to get into great detail on any of these things today. Today's just about, here's kind of a broad overview of what things you have available to you. But this one is one that you want to use uh, from time to time. And this is the award rankings. So see where you stand. So if you click on that, it will load you into here to where you can see the 21 online award rankings. So if I were to say, let's look at the national rankings and we want to look by offices and we want to look at so far for August, 2020 for the adjusted gross income. Well, if I click on that to view the report, you can bring it up and as you can see right here, at least hopefully you guys are seeing this is that we, if I can get it to, there we go. Oh, we are the number one office here with $20 million in adjusted gross commission income. And you can see we're $5 million ahead of our number two competitor. So one of the things you may want to use with this is to be able to show that we've got the number one office in the whole Century 21, sy Century 21 system. So the same thing will go in place in terms of like individual producers. You could do that. And if I view a report here, you can see that uh, we've got Brian Burnett's the number three agent in uh, St. George, Utah, which you may or may not want to show that to somebody. But same thing in terms of teams. If we go and look at uh, the Success 6, 
you'll see up here that Dave Parker's team. So any of you, I don't know if any of you are on Dave Parker's team, but this could be something that would be helpful for you on a listing presentation is showing them you're on the number one team in terms of gross commission income nationally uh, for Century 21. So, so that's what the award rankings look like. So if you're uh, wanting to go in and, and put, print out any of the award rankings, things like that, sorry, let me go back here then that's where you're going to do that is out of this award rankings uh brand studio is where you're going to go if you want to pick up any images logos there's templates available things like that in here i really don't use this one too much i think our marketing department i think our marketing department uses it quite a bit but uh as far as as individual agents, other than going in and getting a Century 21 logo is probably going to be the main thing that you would want to to use that for to get uh, out of uh, the brand studio. The branded email we don't use, uh, same with this broker scorecard. So, but this tool, I'm going to show you a little bit more on this one, and this is build, Business Builder. So Business Builder is a CRM, and so I'm going to click on it to open it up so you can see what it looks like. Business Builder is a CRM. Now, we have two different CRMs available to you, one of them being Business Builder. The other one is uh, the Zap system. As far as putting your database and stuff in, I typically train more on the Zap system, and I'll show you a little bit more about that later as we get down to Zap. But um, just wanting you to know that this one is available, that you could put people in here and the main thing that I usually recommend using um, Business Builder for is going to be the marketing tools that are available. So let me, uh, I'm going to pull up here the marketing stuff. So if you uh, just come over here and you click on marketing, you can see it brings up marketing center, marketing campaign, and marketing designs. So my recommendation usually is you just click on the marketing center here. And once you've clicked on the marketing center, that's going to take you into that marketing center. Now, from here, what you can do is it's got monthly newsletters. So if you do decide you want to use Business Builder as your uh, CRM, as a way for, to work your sphere of influence, then there is a monthly newsletter in here that you can go put the people on, which is really actually pretty nice. Uh, this My Campaigns and My Designs is going to be uh, things that you have set up, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So, But typically what you're going to do is you click on Marketing, come to Marketing Center, and then from here it's just a matter of what is it that you're wanting to do in the Marketing Center. So there's campaign templates here, meaning like if you're wanting to set people up on some type of a um, drip campaign, they have those available here. But then there's email and video marketing here as well, or print marketing. So I'm gonna just start with the email and video marketing. So if I click on this email and video marketing, that's gonna bring up and you can see there's 509 results that you could choose from in terms of email marketing. So if you're wanting to send somebody a birthday greeting, that's here, here's what the newsletter looks like. And then, like I say, you can scroll through here and look at all kinds of different things. The other thing that you can do is you can type in keywords here. So if I typed in here, birthday, and click search, it's going to bring up, here there are 17 results on things that you can send out to somebody for their birthday in terms of an email, which is kind of cool. So uh, to get rid of those, you just click the red X here. So the other thing that you can do, so you can see we're back to 509. If I want to create a, a email that's going to be about a property, a listing, if you click this listing enabled only, now you can see it's narrowed it down to there's 15 different results. So if you were wanting to create a flyer that you could use for email or to post on social media, something like that, this is where you would go to do it. Click on this listing enabled. And then from here, just find the one that you would want to use. So let's just say this is the one I wanted to use here, this three photo one. So I'm going to click on that. It brings it up to where you can see what it looks like. Now, the cool thing is with this is I can just start to type in an address here. So I'm just typing in one, two, three, and then it should bring up the address of the listing. So I'm just going to grab this one here. 
and then you're going to click personalize. Now what it's doing is it's grabbing all the photos from that MLS. It's grabbing all of the uh, remarks from that MLS and you can see that it's dropped it in here now. So it's that simple for me to go create a flyer. You can see it's got my contact information, my picture, my email, got pictures of the property on here and the remarks that it's pulled from the MLS. If you want to change any of that, you just come type in there and you can, you know, click wherever you want it to be, change whatever you're wanting to say on it. If you're wanting to change any of the photos, if you come and click on the photo, one of two things will happen. And it kind of depends on the design that you're using. On this one, by clicking on the photo, you can see over here, it brought up this image library. Well, from here, I can use either my images and I can upload one, or I could grab some stock images that are in here or I click here and it'll bring up the MLS photos. So if I like this photo, then great. But if I'd rather use, um, you know, this one, I can just come click on that. Then the same thing down here. So I don't want all the three of these to be exteriors. So I click on it. It brings back up the MLS photos. I can click on that one there, this one, and do that same kind of a thing. Say I want that photo to show there. So you can see how simple it is to go make the changes. Now, occasionally, and I don't know, like I say, it depends on the design they've created. Sometimes you click on this and it doesn't automatically load here. Instead, you have down here a little box cup that pops up that gives you three different choices to crop or to replace. When you click on replace, it will then open this up to where you can get here. So we'll see, I'll see if I can show you a different one that looks like that. But essentially I would just go in here, make any of those changes that I want. I now click up here, save, and just save that as, I just threw in the date just so that I have that saved for, for that one, so. Sure, and then I'm gonna paint my. All right, so. What we're going to do then is now that I've saved that, I can come up here and I can click on exit. And once I click on exit, now you can see down here, it gives me the option to edit or compose an email, or I could publish to share to the web. So if I click on that, you can see it brings up and gives me a link that if I took this link, I could take, take that link and drop it into any of the social media or click just into Facebook here. But if I took that link and dropped it into social media, it's now going to create this as a just listed that I could share on social media. All right, so that one was the, let me go back to the marketing center. So that was the email and video marketing. As far as print marketing goes, if I click on the print marketing, you can see there's 360 results to choose from. Same thing, I could type in some keywords here or I can do listing enabled. By doing listing enabled, now this one is on the print, so this would be uh, postcards or I can change it to be flyers and there's 20 of those available. So there's 90 postcards available, but if I wanted to use a flyer, there's 20 of those available or there's guides that uh, doesn't look like they have any at this point. That's something new they've added. So they're probably still working on it. But if I go to the flyers here and let's say I wanted to use this just listed flyer here, I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna bring me into here where I can start to type in the address of the property. I can grab the property, hit personalize. Once I hit that personalize, it's going to, to bring that up to where um, should be loading the photos. Okay, good. This is the one that I'll show you. So on this one, I clicked on it. It brings up the three different choices here. I can either replace it, I could crop it, or I could delete. So I'm going to hit replace since they didn't show up anyway. Oh, they didn't show up because there's not any for that one. All right, let me go find a different one. But at least I was able to show you how to change. Oh, nice, a mobile home. All right, so if you click on it and it brings up these three images here, I would just do replace, come over here to MLS images and you now you can see that's pretty pink. So I could take that picture there, click on this one and do the same thing. I wanna replace, go to the MLS images, find the one I wanna replace it with. Um, anything that is in a red box on these, you can change. So I could just come in here and type anything else that I wanted to change in there. 
I've got my picture and everything in here. So you can see how simple that is. I would just do save, put in the date here, and which you don't have to date it. I just always do that because I don't know if I've already got one saved. And then you hit exit. It's going to take you out here to where from here, because this was a print marketing, from here I can either edit or I can download a PDF if I just wanted to print these off on a printer at the office. Or through Express Docs, if I wanted to, I could select the type of paper I wanted it printed on here. I can just select how many I want. It'll give me a price of how much it's going to cost to print those off and then add it to the cart print them off and then they will uh, print those and send them to you that you could use. So if you're wanting to create some nice, uh, nicer coded um, flyers and things that you would have at the listing, this is where you would go to do that. So, all right, let me go back here to, oops, hang on one second here. All right, so back, so that's Business Builder. And, and again, if you guys have questions on it as I'm going through, just stop me and we'll talk about it. But, um, but essentially that one is Business Builder. So like I said, you can use it as a CRM if you want to, but for me, I typically use Zap as my CRM, but Business Builder is great for going and printing flyers and things. Uh, the next thing over here is Business Cards, and these are done through Express Stock. So if you're wanting to order Business Cards, you can do it through there. One of the things that I typically recommend on this is do some price checking. Sometimes I have found on using the business cards here through Express Docs, sometimes they're the cheapest, but I've also seen many times where if you go check on Vistaprint, something like that, uh, you'll find them for cheaper than you will see them on this. So I just usually recommend keep an eye on, uh, on both in terms of if you're needing to order some business cards because you may find that they're cheaper here or sometimes you find Vistaprint or somewhere else maybe a cheaper price. So, all right, the next is on here is this global referral network, which we aren't gonna use that one because we have our own relocation department. So the idea of that global referral network is for companies that are smaller than what we are that don't have their own relocation department, they would run it through here. So if you have relocation, you have referrals you wanna send out, you're just gonna send it through our relocation department versus sending it through uh, this, th this link here. So, all right, let me see, Luciana's got a question. I was told that even though it's a little more here, the logos are automatically accessible. Yeah, which that is true, um, but typically uh, people haven't had too many issues, but yeah, that is true. It's gonna be a little, you know for sure the format and everything's gonna be right doing your cards through there, so. All right, this promotional items, if you're wanting to go and buy some promotional items, you could do that through the store here. And you can see there's different things that are available that you can grab there. Uh, this next one is Century 21 University. C21 University is probably one of the least used tools that we have that's actually a pretty good. So on Century 21 University, there are just tons of different classes and things that are available. So if you're ever feeling like, hey, I want to take a class that, and I want to learn more about X or Y, good place to start would be come to 21 Online, go to Century 21 University, and when you go into the university, you can just do a search. Now, it's been a while since I looked at this, but the last time I went in there and did a search on it to see what classes were available, there were over 500 different classes to choose from. Now, like I said, it could be more, it could be less now. I haven't looked recently, but they had tons and tons of things. Like even some things as, as routine maybe, or, uh, or non-routine, I don't know, but as like how to use Excel and how to use, um, do some formatting in a PowerPoint, stuff like that. So anyway, Century 21 University, I would say if you have a class you're wanting to take, that's a great place to go and see if you can uh, find a class about whatever it is you're wanting to learn about. They also will, from time to time, offer designations. So like if you're wanting to get, you know, the GRI or a CRS or an ABR or, you know, any of those kind of things, uh, they will offer them on there from time to time and usually at a little bit of a discount. And so uh, that's a place to go look if you're wanting to get some designations as well. All right, uh, this next is Dash. This is really just the back end for the agent's offices, listings, and things like that. 
the next one, discounts and perks. So this is for you and for your customers, you can see here. So if I'm, I'm gonna click on that one to go into it, when it opens up here, you're gonna notice that it's got tons of different business benefits and things that are available. And so what you would just decide, is it something for the office, for your customer, or for your listing? And then if you just click on this, learn more, it'll take you in here and you could go through and see all the different things that are available. So you got those re resort vacation certificates, which this is something that uh, people either love it or hate it, these resort vacation certificates. My wife personally hates them, but I know a lot of agents who love these things. And, and the reason my wife hates it is you can go purchase like to have a week stay at a resort and typically they'll offer them somewhere around 300 bucks. You can buy them from time to time. The reason my wife says she doesn't like them is that it's always hard to use them. Now I've had other people say that they don't have a problem, but so ultimately I guess here's what I would say. It's a great gift for a client that you could give to them where you're giving them a week's stay to go on vacation somewhere. Now, now, Probably the difference of this of why my wife is it tends to be more of like she wants to be real planned out and have things laid out exactly how she wants it and that kind of a thing and and you need to be pretty flexible on these resort vacations because meaning like sometimes the, the days might not match up exactly the days you want to go so it might be that it's a Sunday to a Sunday or a Sunday to Saturday and and with my wife she's like well I'd rather go on a Tuesday because the airfare is cheaper and so anyway. I'm spending probably too much time on that, but that those are a great thing that you can purchase for yourself or you can purchase them for your clients. And, and it's, I mean, like I said, for 300 bucks, they can go stay at some pretty nice resorts things. So anyway, as you look through here, you'll see you can get uh, truck rentals, car rentals, pods, things like that that are available that you could, uh, could get for your clients in here. The other things that you will want to make sure that you take time to go through and look at in this discounts and perks is just the things that are available for you. One of the things that is available is discounts typically on your cell phone. So if you have not uh, gone to your cell phone pro provider, uh, you can usually get a discount because of being with Century 21. So not huge, but, uh, but gets you some discounts and every little bit's great. So this events website is just going to be for you to be able to see what events does Century 21 have going on. So every year they'll do a convention and things like that. That's where you would see about those. Um, this Fantasy 21, this is, I don't even know what this is. This is brand new. And um, so it's 30 plus challenges going live between October 1st and December 31st. So yeah, this is just must be something that's just come on right away. So uh, start winning today. So I don't know. I, I don't know what it is, I guess, but there's must be 30 challenges that you could do that you can win some prizes and things. So we'll have to check that out. If you're prospecting anyway, you might as well enter some of these contests. So let me actually just click on it and see if it uh, huh, looks like they're doing $20,000 in prize money and different things. So kind of a cool thing. I'll have to check that out a little bit more later on today so that I can be aware of it. Uh, this iProspect is, is a new thing that's for the managers in terms of recruiting. All right, Lead Router. So you'll probably never need to log into Lead Router through 21 Online because it's all fed into Zap. But just so that you know what it is, when you get a phone call for uh, 21 Online, or excuse me, from Zap on, hey, somebody's inquired on one of your listings, the system that's actually running that in the back end is Lead Router. So think of it as Lead Router is kind of the back end system and Zap then is the front end. So when it calls you, it's going to tell you it's Zap calling, but it's really this Lead Router system. So you really probably will never need to go into that area. Uh, the only reason you would is if you had a lead that was in Zap and you wanted to move it over to Business Builder, one of the ways you can do that is through lead routers because any of your leads in zap are also in lead router, but there's a way in lead router that you can say you want to sync it over to, uh, to the business builder system as well. So that's really about the only reason that you're going to end up using that is for that purpose. So, all right. Uh, list sync is something that is just giving uh, control over the distribution of listings. So you're really probably never gonna go in there and do anything with that. You probably want the listings to be sent out everywhere, but if for some reason you had somewhere you didn't want 
some listings to be going out to. That's where that's done. Uh, here's where, this, I think this is for the office. Yeah, brokerage resources. Uh, marketing tools dashboard. I'm not sure if you have that available to you or not, but again, uh, oh, broker only dashboard looks like so. Uh, but like, like I say, a lot of this stuff, I'm just going to kind of go through it and hit on a little bit. Um, this my C21 site. So the my C21 site, you have actually three different websites that are available for you to use. If you are somebody who's pretty tech savvy and you want to be able to create a pretty uh, robust website, this is where I would recommend for you to go is to the my C21 site. If you're not real tech savvy or you're just kind of average tech savvy, I would recommend just using the Zap website or potentially the business builder. And then as a third choice would be this my C21 site. But for somebody who wants to, you know, really pretty tech savvy wants to do some robust things with their site. I would then recommend using this my C21 site. But if you're not that person, yeah, I would just say don't worry about it. And uh, the my C21 site, when you go in there, if you go in there and get lost, that's where I would say, yeah, you're probably not tech savvy then, so don't use it. <laughs> Those who are, once you got in there, you would understand it and be able to just kind of walk through and create some pretty cool things that way. So. This, my listings is just gonna be uh, for your listing resources, which I don't have any listings right now. So when I pull it up, there's just nothing there, but that's where you'll be able to go in and do uh, looking at your listings that you have available and things. So, all right, this next one, which is where I wanna spend a little bit of time on is the preferred client club. This one is a pretty cool thing. So this one is available to you for your clients. So after you close on a deal, You'll hear it sometimes referred to as the PCC. So, uh, and or earlier you saw on my dashboard, in fact, I think I might still have the tab up. No, I did. On my dashboard here, it had uh, review your PCC image. Well, that's what this is talking about is the image that I have for the preferred client club. So you can see this magazine here. What happens with this is if you go into this and you sign up for it, you can see here, the cost for this is for two years, $25, five years, $43, or seven years, $58. So you can set it up for your clients to where quarterly, it's gonna send out a magazine to them and you can do it like it shows here, either for two years, five years, or seven years, and that's the cost. So really actually a pretty cheap way for you to uh, stay in front of someone to keep them reminded about you as an agent. And like I say, it sends this magazine. You can kind of see it'll have your picture here, which is why it was asking me back here to review my image there is, you know, make sure that it looks how you want it to look, but it's going to send out a magazine. Now, usually people will ask me well, what kinds of things are in the magazine. Well, typically what's going to be showing up in that magazine, think of it as because uh, Century 21 is owned by Realogy, who Realogy also owns Better Homes and Gardens. Think of it as kind of more like a Better Homes and Gardens magazine, but uh, done for Century 21 is what it's done for though. So it's a magazine that would show up that just would have some information about homes and gardens and stuff like that, but uh, it shows that it's coming from you. So great way to stay in front of your clients. And as I was showing you, a pretty cheap way of doing that as well. Uh, this PR studio would be about getting press releases and things if you wanted to do something that way. Um, Next, and this one is a pretty important one to make sure you are aware of, and that's the Quality Service Survey Awards. So what's gonna happen is after every time you uh, close on a transaction through this Real Satisfied, that's the next tool over here that we're gonna talk about, is they will send out a survey on your behalf to your clients, asking your clients to do a review about you. Well, this quality service survey awards is what you are able to win as a result of the real satisfied surveys that get sent out. So every year as we do awards as a company, one of the awards that, uh, that is available for people is this quality service award. And I'll tell you, there's not many people that end up getting it. Now, you do have to have closed, um, I wanna say at least eight transactions and so you'd have to have at least eight of these surveys filled out on you and 80% of those surveys that get filled out. So of the minimum of eight, 80% of them have to have been filled out. 
and given you basically the highest marks that are available. So uh, that's an award that is a pretty cool award to get because there's, like I said, we have a handful of people that at our awards ceremony will get the quality service awards. And so you'll see tons and tons of people getting different awards, but there's only a few that end up with the quality service. Well, how you're gonna do that is through this Real Satisfied. So I'm gonna open up the tab for this Real Satisfied to show you this one. So after you close on a transaction, this is where you're gonna manage that to make sure that they have filled out the survey and that they are um, giving you good, good marks and also that you're able to then use that and share it. So from within Real Satisfied, you can see it's got your picture here. You could go through and um, you know take a look to, here's your dashboard and if you click on this video, it'll teach you a little bit about the, the system. But right here's the main thing you're gonna be using. So you can see, so this is the survey for the friend of mine that I was telling you that I helped him buy a condo in August. Well, so you can see it sent a survey to be filled out, but he didn't fill it out for me. So it was sent, but he didn't fill it out. So if I click on it, it will bring it up to where I can look at it and see all of his information. And I'm gonna just resend that to him. So I've now resent that to see if he could, will fill it out. The other thing that I would recommend that you do is if you notice somebody didn't fill it out is call them up and just say, hey, uh, so in this case, Mark, I'm gonna be sending you over this uh, survey and it helps me at the office if you could fill that out. And is there any reason you couldn't give me, you know, the highest marks that you were totally satisfied with everything that, uh, that I did? And if for some reason there was something, then and hopefully let's fix it and get it taken care of. But, but the idea being you want to get those sent out. So you can see here, like this one shows that it was completed. So if I pull it up, then I can see the full report. I can see the testimonial if I want to pull that up. So he was very good at keeping us informed about what's happening on the listing, very good at dealing with proposed buyers and problems that they had selling their property. So they'll just put in some information on you there that you can take a look at. Oh, and the other thing too, is it's got this say thanks on here. When you click on that, you could go buy a Starbucks gift card and there is a fee that they charge for it. So you could do it on your own as well. But if I wanted to send them the Starbucks gift card, I could go through and, and do that just to thank them for filling that out for me on there as well. So, all right, so that's real satisfied. And as you can see that I haven't followed up real well. This was my mom. My mom didn't even fill out a survey on me, which is kind of rude. And I've sent it to her many times, but apparently I must not have done a good job for my mom, I don't know. All right, so there's real satisfied. So that one is one I would say, yeah, make sure that you're, uh, you're doing those and getting them filled out. Luciana, I know, wow, right? My mom wouldn't even fill it out on me, it's horrible. Guess I gotta be a better son, I don't know. All right, so that's real satisfied. Uh, this Recruit 21 is for the brokers and that's available for them. This RE uh, resources, uh, or excuse me, REA scoreboard. Uh, through 21 online up here, one of the things that you can do through, or not 21 online, glad I scrolled up, Century 21 University, they have some online classes and things that you can do where they have you fill out some uh, reports and things. And that's what this for. This scoreboard is if you were doing one of their live classes, you could go through and fill out you know, the number of contacts and things that you were doing. Uh, the sales, sales associate business planning tool, we as a company have our own business plan, but if you wanted to, you could go through and fill this out uh, to create a business plan for yourself. So that's what that is for. And then social ad engine. This is something if you are wanting to do some like Facebook marketing, some stuff like that, you could do it through there. So this is a paid thing through that social ad engine, but through Century 21, you could go in and that will help you create some social media marketing tools and, and things to where you could do some, but again, that's a paid thing that you have to do. All right, next is Golden Ruler. Now, if you were on uh, Morning Ascent the other day when George interviewed Jeremy Back, and, and you probably didn't catch him saying this if you weren't familiar with Golden Ruler, but when Jeremy was talking about it, George had asked him about some of the tools and things that are available and what ones he liked or whatever. The one that he mentioned the most that was kind of one of his big things that he loves about Century 21 was this golden ruler. 
So I'm going to click on it, but because I don't have any listings, it's probably not going to bring anything up for me. But let me see if it does. All right. So under the golden ruler here, basically what it does is it is going to track for each of your listings, the number of views you're getting online. And so this tool is one that, like I say, for your clients, this one is awesome. So if you don't remember anything else we talk about today, make sure you remember this one. Because if you're not using this, as you get listings, what you want to do is you can come into the golden ruler here and, and then you would go to my listings here, which I don't have any currently, so nothing's going to bring up. I need to go get a listing before this class every time just so that I have it available to teach you. And now my computer is being slow. But what you can do, so if, if for whatever reason this doesn't load, what you can do though is you can go through, and yeah, I'm not showing any listings here, but what you would do is you would come down to your listing and then you will schedule that to send a report to your seller. So you can have it to where what it will do is it will send out a report to your seller and you can set it up to do it monthly or you can set it up to do it weekly, you can set it up to do it bi weekly, however you want to do it. But you can have that set up to where what it's going to do is send to them, here are the number of views that your listing is getting. Now, the cool thing with that is, see, you can do that off of the MLS, but the problem with all the MLS and sending that to your client is it also keeps track of every agent that, that pulls up. So if an agent's doing a CMA and that property shows up, well, it's going to look like that property had a view uh, from the MLS. When in reality, it really didn't. It was an agent using that property for a CMA or something. Well, so the advantage to using the golden ruler here is it does include the MLS, but it also is going to show here's the number of views that you're getting and shows these different sites. So it even tracks Colo Banker, Better Homes and Gardens, Homes.com, ERA, so that you would be able to show Hey, you know, and this is showing, I think, more for the company here is what you're seeing from me. But it'll show, you know, the number of visitors you're getting on it, where they're coming from. So it has this little heat map thing, which, you, which if you zoom in on, you could go in to be able to see, like, where are the views that people are doing on this property? So and your clients have the availability to do that as well. So if you look and see, like, you can see that a lot from the L.A. area are looking but more so for, for Utah, which makes sense though, because I'm in the Utah um, part of it. Now I know we've got some California people on here. If you guys are in yours, it would show that red is gonna be down here in, in the California area. But, but you can see that it's even got a little bit of green from Arizona. So we can see there's, that we've got a lot of people from California and some from Arizona that are searching our site. And then also back East, you can see as well. So anyway, just kind of a cool thing, tool that you can use um, with your uh, clients. And like I say, I wish I had a listing that I could show you for sure what's going on with it. But, but you can see the number of views by agent on here as well and the number of leads that are showing up uh, for it. So kind of interesting that as far as the views go, Brian Burnett gets the most views, but you look at leads, Yadiv Vasquez is getting the most leads from within our company. So kind of interesting to see that. And then Trent Rogers and Jessica off of their listings. Uh, so they must be doing something good in terms of marketing their, their properties. So anyway, very cool tool that you want to know and use. Uh, so let's see, Stephanie say no data is coming up on my golden ruler. Huh? That, and I'm assuming you have a current listing then as well, right, Stephanie? So if that is the case, my recommendation is, is call the help desk, which if, if you, uh, where's it at? The phone number. Oh, right there. Right down at the very bottom on 21 online, you've got the phone number for the help desk. I, I would recommend give the help desk a call and just say, hey, I've got this current listing and nothing is showing up on here and see uh, it, they should be able to tell you what the issue is. Um, oh, no data is coming up for California. Oh, but that yeah, probably nothing is showing up on yours because I'm an administrator is why I'm able to see all of that. As an individual agent, you're only going to be able to see for your individual listings is, is why that is. So. 
All right, so that's Golden Ruler. And like I say, way cool tool that you wanna make sure you have set up because then it emails to your client, lets your client know you're doing your job. That's kind of the biggest thing that I have found is that for me, especially in a different market where properties aren't as selling as quickly, that Golden Ruler is such a good tool because you're able to, even if the property is not selling, you're able to say, look how many views I'm getting though. Like I'm doing my job. And if people are seeing it online, but then not, not, but then not coming to look at your property, there's usually a reason that they're not. And typically the reason they're not coming is because it's overpriced. So it's kind of a nice way you can uh, talk to your clients about your, their properties being overpriced. All right, next one that we're gonna spend a little bit of time on is Toolkit CMA. Toolkit CMA, I'm gonna just click on this to create a presentation. Now, here's one of the things that I'm gonna recommend for you guys to do. And, and this is how I learned this. And so this is really your best thing you can do. So from that productivity hub, if you click on Toolkit CMA, it's gonna load you in here to Toolkit CMA. The idea of this is around presentations. So what typically will happen is probably the, in, in the 15 years that I have spent training new agents, probably the number one question that I get asked all the time is, I want a good listing presentation. Now, you, the best listing presentation you have available to you is you, just so you know. But if you're thinking you wanna have something as a leave behind or something to send as a pre-listing packet, this is where you're gonna to go to get that, is under the toolkit CMA. So the, the thing that I would recommend that you do though, so now I'm in here, if you come up here to support and you cl click on view samples run demo, it's gonna open this up where there's this tab right here of request a walkthrough. So if you click on request walkthrough, you're gonna put in your name, address, email address, company, all this, and then there's two different times that you would choose from that you would be available and then hit send. What will happen is that it, as long as they're available on one of these two times, and if they're not, they'll come back and ask you for some other times. But what's gonna happen is they will call you at this time and they will spend about 30 minutes on the phone with you, walking you through and training you on, on this program, this toolkit CMA, which is kind of a cool thing. So that's what I would recommend to do. But if you just wanna do it on your own and get a familiar, it's really not that difficult either. So if you just click on this create presentation, it gives you a drop down box here. So I've got a listing presentation, a listing presentation, a Spanish version. So if you're wanting to have something to leave behind in Spanish, then there's a pre-listing only or a CMA only. So let me explain what the difference is. Pre-listing only and CMA only, if those two are added together, equals the listing presentation. So if you're wanting both of these, you would just go to this. But if you're wanting just a listing or pre-listing presentation, you would send this. And if you wanted just the CMA, you're gonna do that one. Then there's the buyer presentation, a buyer with CMA, buyer property tour, fine homes listing presentation. So the fine homes would be idea B for upper end properties and then just presentation page. So I'm just gonna click on listing presentation and create new. So that's gonna open it up and you can see there are like 88 documents if I remember right here. So the idea of this is what you would do is just click on this and it's gonna bring up and show you, here's the first page. So this is your cover page, that's option one. Here's option two. So you just decide which one you like. Do I like option one or do I like option two? And whichever one you like, you're gonna check the box. So I'm just gonna say I want that one. Or do I want this one with a photo of the property on it? Then I could do that as well. So essentially, you could just go through each of these, read through this letter, see if you like it. You could modify it um, and just select all of the pages that you want to use. Once you have done that, you can set it as your default or you can add or reorder pages here. But once I've got that, I could just hit next. It'll bring me here to where I would fill out this, the name of the prospect, their address, all of that. And then it's going to drop all of the information in there. So kind of a cool thing. And if you're wanting to have, you know, a presentation that you feel like would look really nice, you know, where do buyers uh, home searches begin? Boom, here it is. So, you know, like I say, for me, these are great leave behind things or pre-listing things. Your best listing presentation is gonna be you. The other thing that it has available is uh, you can add 
the properties for your CMA into here as well. So you can decide, do you want the columns, you know, or do you want the single property type of a thing? So you just decide how you want it to look. And, you know, here's the, the one with some things in there. And let's see, there was one other one I was gonna show you guys. Yeah, this one is one that I like to use, is the comparative market analysis graph by status. So that you can show them, here's where the prices are of the properties that are currently on the market. Here's where the ones that are under contract. Here's the recently sold and off the market. And the idea of that usually why I like this is to say just typically of showing them, here's where the ones that are currently on market. Here's where they under contracts and here's where they sold. Which of those categories do you want to fall into? Well, obviously they want to be within the sold categories. Well, then we ought to price your home somewhere in with those are there. But of course, when they want to price it over that price range, you can show them down here. This is the expireds and these are the ones that didn't sell. So anyway, those are the different things that are available on the toolkit CMA. And then you can print that out, bind it and, and take that over to them. So, so again, my recommendation on that is, as far as this goes, is let me go back into it real quick, is um, go to the support, the view sample run demos, and request a walkthrough. On that walkthrough, they will show you how to get the properties from your MLS and drop them into the toolkit CMA. So that's kind of the main reason I would say of using it. Outside of that, you can go click on each of the things and look at them and see what you want to see. So, all right, next is unique property sites. Again, this is one that because I don't have any listings right now, I'm not going to be able to show you a whole lot. And I, it used to be that they would let me see the whole companies and I could just use somebody else's to show you. But what will happen when you go into the unique property sites, hang on one second here. What will happen is that your properties will show up here. Well, as a result, and, and a lot of agents aren't even aware that this is available, but when you list a property, Century 21 is gonna create a unique property site for that. Basically think of it this way. Every listing that we take has its own website. And from that website, you could then use the link for that website to market it. So here's what I recommend usually, is what you would wanna do is get the link to that website, talk to your client and say, hey, I'm gonna send you a link to the website that I've created for your listing. What I would like you to do is go onto your social media and have them do it on all of their social media platforms and share this link on there so that people will be aware that your home is for sale. Now, in essence, what's happening is yes, that's gonna then market their listing for them, but it's also gonna market you as well. So every property website is gonna have flyers that are created. Now they're, they're pretty simple, but there's a flyer on there that people could go and click on to be able to, to use uh, to print off from that website. There's also uh, a YouTube video is created, which that's where I wish I had it available. I can show you guys, but there's a YouTube video created that what they do is take your photos from the MLS and then they do a voiceover where somebody is talking about this great Rambler has three bedrooms and two baths or whatever. And it's kind of a cool thing. You could also have it done in Spanish as well. So you can have that video to where they will switch it from being in English to being in Spanish. So that when somebody goes to the website, you would have, or if you shared that video somewhere on social media, that it plays in Spanish as well. So every single property that you have available or that Century 21 has is going to create one of these unique property websites. So this is another one that you can use with your clients to be sharing with them that, hey, when I list your property, I'm gonna create its own website. And the address, I wonder if, let me see. Let me try real quick and see if I can find one. Sorry, just take me one minute here, hopefully. I'm just gonna go find one of our Century 21 listings and then I'll show you, hopefully I can show you what it looks like on uh, the website.
All right, I think I may have found one here. So, all right. What it does is, oops, I did that wrong. Is essentially it takes the address of the property and c21.com. Yeah, it looks like that didn't work. All right, sorry. I was hoping I could bring one up real quick. But typically it takes the address of the property. I just don't know if on that particular one, if it's gonna be showing, I may have to type out the West. Uh, let me try one of thing here. But it's usually just dot c21.com. Well, I at least got closer there. Yeah, it's not coming up for some reason. Okay, sorry. Well, anyway, but the website comes up. It looks really good. And like I say, it'll have a little bar that you can print off uh, flyers, those type of things. It'll have videos and things available there. So that's the unique property websites. This virtual open house live streams is where you can schedule some virtual open houses to do, which I, I don't know how many people are really doing those still, um, but maybe there are. I don't know. And let me see. Uh, so Carla, you were asking who does this again, meaning who creates the website? Is that what you're asking? Uh, it's, it's created by Century 21. So Century 21 on every one of our listings. So as you get a listing, you'll just be able to go into edit unique property sites and you can go in there and then you can customize it a bit as well. So. All right, the last thing that we're gonna go over is, is Zap. Now, I've got a whole separate class that we're gonna do on this in a couple of weeks, and so I'm not gonna go through and teach the whole thing right now, because we will cover on that in a couple of weeks. But um, I'm gonna just click on here to access Zap. So within Zap, this is the one that I recommend that you use for your CRM. I really think that this is probably the best place to, in terms of you being able to manage your clients and things. And so when you put the people into here, you'll have, if I click on contacts here, you'll be able to see I've got 129 contacts in here. The reason that I like this site so much, and like I say, I'll give you more detail on this in a different class, but is this Zap score. So Century 21 went out and bought this system and they paid $167 million for it. And essentially what they were buying was this Zap score is the, the ability to be able to go in and have uh, the system be able to track what's going on. So if I hover over here, this J, you can see he logged onto my website four times this week. He viewed one home details page this week. He logged onto the website six times three weeks ago and six or six times four or more weeks ago three viewed three home detail pages three weeks ago that's what the, why i like this is if you are marketing to people through the zap system it's going to keep track of what they're doing so that you can go through and see so you can see this brandon baird here logged onto my website two times this week well let me tell you a little story about this guy so this guy i met him probably gosh probably seven years ago now probably and I ended up helping him buy a home and he bought the home uh, oh, probably four years ago now. Well, I really have not had much contact with him, which I know that's probably not a good thing to say. But because my my job really is training you guys, I mostly am doing business. If people call me up and say, come listen to my house and it's a friend or a family member. Well, I had met this guy, like I said, probably seven, eight years ago. About four years ago, I helped him buy a property. Well, I really have done nothing except for, I put him into the system here. Let me click on his contact and I'm gonna show you what I did. And then if you scroll down in here, and like I said, I'll do some more training on this later, but there's a spot for home value updates. Well, I put his address in on a home value update here. And what happens is that once a week, he will get an email sent to him of what's going on in the area that he lives in, just showing him what properties and things are available to him in, or in his neighborhood. And from that, 
he obviously has been looking at them, but for whatever reason, if I cover over this under the zap score here, you can see like going back 60 days ago, he's done nothing. Well, all of a sudden now in the last week, he's logged on to my website twice. Well, this is why I think this is such a powerful tool and making sure that you're using this. So you guys that were in my class on Tuesday that I did on the SOI, and we talked about getting, uh, staying in touch with the people, this is the way that I recommend you do it. Get them put into Zap, get them set up on that home value updates because it has been marketing to Brandon. I have done, now the problem with me telling you this is I don't want you leaving here thinking that I'm saying you don't have to call people because remember you are four protocols, you still got to call. But I'm not trying to go out and really build my real estate business right now because I'm spending my time trading you guys. But look at this, like all I did is put him in and put him up on a home value update. And all of a sudden now, since he's logged onto the website, if I go back to my list of contacts here, you can see he's floated to the top. And the reason he's floated to the top is because he actually has opened those emails and gone to my website. Well, that's a good clue for me He's been there probably, like I said, four or so years. Well, in that time frame, he's gained some really good equity by purchasing that property. And I remember when he bought it, he bought it with his brother. And the idea was, hey, we're going to own it for a little while. And then probably one of us is going to get married and the other one will or whatever. And we're probably end up selling the property. Well, he's gained some great equity in that property now. So for me, this would be a good indication if I have not called him, that I probably ought to give him a call. So I really probably looking at this, ought to give him a call today or tomorrow and just check in. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Just haven't talked to you for a while. Wanted to see how things are going. Wow, aren't you so glad you bought that house four years ago? Man, I don't know if you're aware or not, but man, the price has gone up dramatically and blah, blah, blah. blah. See, all of a sudden, if he's thinking about selling, he's going to go, you know, Russ, I actually was just on your website the other day. And I'm going to go, you're kidding. Now, obviously, I know, but I'm not going to tell him. Oh, yeah, I know. I saw you on there. Now, depending on your relationship, you may or may not want to do that. But that's where what the Zap system is, the power of it is you can see this is, in fact, um, those of you guys that were in the class that I taught on Tuesday, on that class, when I talked about the guy that I said that he wouldn't use me, that he, but he would refer to me, people to me, and then I said I ran into him, and he said, no, I would totally use you. This is him. And, and I told you that he mentioned to me that he's starting to think about selling. Well, I'm not surprised that he's been on my website four times this week then, because I know he's starting to think about it. Now, he told me he's a couple years out, but I, here's based on what I know, he's not a couple years out. It's going to happen in the next year or so would be my guess. So anyway, that's the power of this Zap system from 21 Online. So just any of these tools, I would just recommend that you guys jump in and start playing around with them. Go in, click on them, see what you can find out about it. Like I say, this Fantasy 21, you know, today's the first day I've ever even seen that. So there's a getting started. Here's the how to win. So you can read through this. It's going to tell you what you need to do. And then you can just click on the get started and uh, it's going to have these different things that are available. So it looks like you can get win a $50 Visa gift card and, and getting 250 points. So anyway, kind of cool. I'm going to go through and look at that later today. It maybe be something we try to encourage more of the agents to do. But anyway, that's what I've got for you for today from 21 online. What, uh, any questions or anything that I can answer for you guys on 21 online? Either unmute or throw something in the chat box if you do. If not, then just make sure you put your name in the chat box, first and last name. And um, otherwise, thanks for being with me. And hopefully you got some good value out of this. So next week is Tuesday's class is going to be on title and escrow. I need to verify with the instructor on that. I'm not sure what we we're going to do. I, there was potentially a problem that they told me they would let me know, but I have not heard back. So I'm assuming we're still good to go on it. But uh, anyway, awesome. Okay, guys. Hey, thanks for being with me and go make it an outstanding day. And I'll see you on Tuesday, if not before. And uh, talk to you then.